Let's analyze all this, uh, all this. Journalist and commentator Salim Atalai joins Hello. me now in the studio. Thank you for your time. You. Um, so what is your response to these latest re uh, reports? What kind of message does this send to oh. Turkey? <laughs> Well, the, the, the U.S. policy on Syria seems to be set by whoever screams the loudest. Up till now, until very recently, President Trump was the loud one, and uh, he set the stage for a complete withdrawal, and he had his own reasons, and did make sense. And in time, uh, domestic opposition, namely the Pentagon and other factors, came into the picture. And uh, the last one who screamed... To, is was the good senator from South Carolina, Lindsey Graham. He screamed a lot to the acting defense secretary and uh, with some eloquent uh, sentences riddled with four-letter words. And he made his point, and now they agree to put 200 and another 200, another maybe 200. No, mm -hmm. this is getting this is getting into yeah, a farce. Yeah, these numbers are a bit confusing now. It's, like, it's, it's getting into people? a farce. Now, uh, now 200 or 400, 200 for uh, eastern, east of the Euphrates, maybe 200 for the Tanf area. Now, the east of Euphrates is the central command's obsession. They just want to keep this uh, terror group in charge there, which is not a good plan at all cases. And the other uh, Tanf base is uh, John Bolton's obsession. John Bolton mm -hmm. thinks he can block Iran through that base, which uh, everyone disagrees. And again, bringing Europeans and everything just makes it messier. Uh, this is not the clear outcome that Donald Trump had imagined, and it doesn't look very good, and uh, it's, it's going to get messier, I think. And do you think enough has been done by the U.S. to appease its NATO ally, Turkey? I mean, for Turkey, these issues are very important. Uh, rather than appeasement, Turkey would have liked and preferred some sort of cooperation, some sort of uh, straightforward words being uh, followed up and uh, implemented. The idea was, the plan was about Membij. This mm -hmm. is still uh, lingering on. The other plan about Eastern uh, Euphrates, again, there was sort of an understanding that the U.S. withdrawal would be compensated by the Turkish military presence and that would have been a proper transfer of authority and it could have been a, a more smoother transaction. Now, Turkey directly sees a threat to its well-being and uh, an international so-called peacekeeping force is backing this and uh, Turkey is not happy and Turkey mm. has all the flexibility in the region and has more flexibility than the U.S. at this point. Selim Atalay, thanks so much Thank you. for this analysis for us.